Hey guys, it is Mike Weger from WegerTech.com and today I am doing a video tutorial for Wild Academy subscribers. If you are not yet subscribed to Wild Academy, click the subscribe button down below. I want you guys to have access to the amazing videos that Wild Academy makes. You guys will just learn a lot because they cover a wide range of topics, so you're guaranteed to learn something. But today, we are doing video number eight in a 10 part video tutorial series on GIMP. And today we're gonna to get a little more advanced than we have in the past, but we're gonna be working with layer masks. And so let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing we wanna do is we want to open an image that we can play with. So I have one right here. An image of some weekend dirt bike riding I was doing a while ago. And so what we're doing is we want to make a layer mask. Now what layer mask will do is if you have multiple layers, it will take the layer you have the mask on and it will allow certain things from the layers below to show through in certain opacity. And that'll start to make sense the more we play with this. But what we're gonna need to do first is we need multiple layers. So we're gonna go here and we're just gonna duplicate this layer. So we're gonna right click and click duplicate. And for this top one, I want my top layer, I actually want the whole image in black and white. So the overall goal with this photo, what we're gonna do is what I want is the sky and the cornfield and pretty much everything except for me to be in black and white, but I want me to stay in color. So we're gonna accomplish this in a few steps. So what we're gonna do is we're on this top layer and we're gonna to go to colors and we're gonna to go to desaturate. Click okay. And so now you see we have a nice little black and white photo here. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have this, if you guys can see this bottom layer, if we turn off the top layer and just look at the bottom, it takes a little bit to load, but you can see that the bottom layer is still in full color. So when we make that bottom layer shine through, it's gonna be in color, but everything else on the top layer, now that I clicked it back on, is gonna be in black and white. And we do this through a layer mask. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on this top layer right here and we're gonna click right click on it and do add layer mask. And we pull this over. So what this means, I'm gonna just give you guys a brief description of what this means. So white full opacity and black full opacity. I'm just gonna explain those two. The difference is white full opacity means we'll now have a white canvas. And anything on that layer that we paint with black is the area that the lower will show through. Now anything that was white, which the whole canvas will be white, will just be that top layer and nothing below will show through. But the nice thing is, you can do things like gray and anything in between white and black and a certain opacity of the bottom will show through, just not in full opacity. So we're gonna click on white full opacity and now you can see that we have this little white canvas over here. So when we click on this top layer, now anything that I paint in this top layer with pure black is gonna show the full layer below it. And remember that that full layer below it is in full color. So if I go to my paintbrush tool over here I wanna make it a circle and we come back over here. So now the major thing that you wanna make sure is that your foreground color is black. So the square right here, make sure this is black cause that's what's gonna make it show through. So we have this circle and I will just start painting around as best as I can. It might not be the best, but I'm gonna hold right here and kind of follow the outline first. And we'll go down my arm a little bit and you can start to see already, especially with that blue, that it's starting to come right through. So we'll take it and we'll, and especially in that red helmet too, you can really start to see it pop. And you can be a little rough because we can always go back and change this. And I will show you guys how to do that. So I'm just gonna get it generally filled in here. Okay, so it's starting to look pretty good. I didn't get my full sleeve over here. Let's do that real quick. Okay, so it's starting to look pretty good, right? And that's really cool. The layer mask allowed us to pull in from that bottom full color image, and now we have a cool black and white, but something really pops. It really makes me as a writer pop out from that photo, which is really nice. Now there are a lot, a lot of things you can do with layer masks. This is just an example so you guys can get the basic idea of what a layer mask does. Now what I wanna show you is now we can go back and see if I, we were painting it with black, which since we told it to white full opacity, anything in black was gonna show up. But if we just switch these around right here and see how this, I have right over here, there's a little spot where the field showed up. But if I just paint that with white now, 
Again, we went back with white. It's going to take it back down and not show it. So we can just paint over where we painted with black, and we can touch it up. Just touch it up a little bit there, right here. And see, I have this little area right here where it's blue, right in between, and I don't want that because that's the sky. That's not my helmet. So let's go in and let's make my paintbrush a little bit smaller here. My circle's too big. Still too big. Let's go down. And remember, we're painting with white now, so perfect. So now if I click right in here, you can start to see it turns that black back to black and white. We'll even do it right here. Alrighty, so now, and we can go back in and just adjust the edges. So now you have a really, we did that really quick. We have a really quick color popping photo. We have it in black and white, and now in color, it really made it pop, and it was super easy. All we did that with was the layer mask. And I know it's not very big, but if you see over here on that layer mask, you can see the area I painted with black. It's actually out, it looks like a little rider over there. And that's how we made it work. So that is your basic introduction to layer masks. I really challenge you guys to get out there and play with it and see what you can do. I mean, just remember that all you're doing is making the bottom layer show up. So there's some really cool effects out there that you can do with the layer mask. But that is the bare essentials. And that is all you guys need to know to start doing your own thing with your own photos. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Come back for the last two, number nine and number 10 in this GIMP tutorial series. I think you guys will really like them. And if you haven't watched the past ones, go back and watch them. And remember to subscribe to Wild Academy again, and you go back and watch all their videos. They have some great tutorials, especially on Ruby and things like that. And then the link in the description below goes to my channel. And over on my channel and what I create at UyghurTech.com is I do a lot of other tech tutorials and I even do a weekly live tech show where I give you guys the news in tech in what happened in the last week. So go check it out if you guys think you would like that. But I hope you guys come back for the final two tutorials. Until I see you guys next time though, tech on.